Hey, hey, class fit sugar. My name is Alexis Turner. This is Kitanya. This is Natalie, and we're doing a 30 minute yoga inspired total body workout today. Let's go ahead and get started in a seated cross legged position. You can bring your hands on top of your knees, palms down to ground, or palms up to receive whatever is in store for you today. Let's go ahead and close our eyes. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. A couple more breaths like that. Breathing in positivity and gratitude and exhaling out anything that's not serving you, anything that's weighing you down. Just allow your breath to slow down and your thoughts too. A lot of times we're going at such a fast pace and we're thinking about so many different things, but take this 30 minutes for you and take this time to slow down and be present. Gently blink your eyes open. And take a couple head rolls to the left, very slow. And one more just like that. Other way. Two slow circles to the right. One more. And gently find center. Deep breath in. Exhale, find your tabletop. Gently walk your hands in front. Bring your knees back. You want your hands underneath your shoulder blades, your knees underneath your hips. And take a deep breath in, find your cow opening through your chest. Exhale, cat down towards your mat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And a couple more at the rhythm of your breath. And then maybe start to find some variations here. Maybe that's a couple circles in your torso, right or left, like Natalie. Or maybe that's stretching out through your hands, like Catania. Or maybe that's finding a twist, like me. And if so, inhale, bring your right fingertips up. Exhale, thread your right arm underneath your left arm. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, wrap your left arm around your torso and take a couple moments here. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left arm back down. Inhale, reach your right fingertips up towards the ceiling. Exhale, tabletop. Whatever variation you're doing, make sure to even out. Inhale, left fingertips up. Exhale, thread your left arm through underneath your right arm. Inhale, right fingertips up. Exhale, wrap your right arm around your torso. A couple breaths here. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right arm down, starting to wind down on whatever variation you are. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, let's all meet in tabletop. Deep breath in. Exhale, downward dog. Tuck your toes. Press your pelvis back and up. And this is, can be an intense stretch to start off with, so I like to find some movement by pedaling out through my right and left leg. Now gently start to find stillness and center. Inhale. Exhale. Release your pelvis back and slightly up so you're finding a slight arch in your spine and you're gently relaxing your heels down towards your mat. They don't need to touch, but this is just going to help us stretch out through the back side of our legs, so stretching out through our calves and our hamstrings. Great, and then check in with your breath. If you want to start to build up some heat in your breath, you can find your ujjayi breath by breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. But always option to breathe out through your mouth. 
We're gonna get started into our sun A. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Gently bring your feet towards your hands. You can stay here. One option is to just stay here and keep your palms down on your mat. One option is to wrap your arms around your ankles. And another option is to bring your hands up towards the ceiling, clasping your hands. So whatever variation feels comfortable for you. If your arms are up, try to find a little bit of a twist towards the right and a little bit of twist towards the left. Find center and then adjust your glass to the other side. Twist to the left and a slight twist to the right. Gently find center, bring your palms down towards your mat if they're not there already. Inhale, mountain pose, slowly roll up. Exhale, forward fold, arms through heart center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank, plant your hands down towards your mat, walk your feet back. In a couple moments here, we're gonna to start to build up some heat. So this is a yoga-inspired class. We're having our fundamentals be yoga, but we're gonna have a little bit of a workout. So a little bit of some core, a little bit of quads and lower body, and a little bit of arms too. So a couple more breaths here. We want our shoulder blades down and back. Yeah, so we're making one line from our crown of our head reaching forward to our heels reaching back. Couple more breaths here. Always option to come down into your knees and take a couple more breaths here if it's getting a little too intense too fast. You can follow Katania for modifications. She's gonna help you out with some variations. Deep breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Let's all take a variation here. Bend through your knees, elbows back. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, gaze front. Exhale, forward fold, jump or step. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, twist to the left, tee out your arms. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, twist to the right, tee out your arms. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Feel free to walk back or jump back. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. One more time like that. Inhale, gaze front. Exhale, forward fold, jump or step. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, twist to the right this time. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Last time, inhale, gaze front. Exhale, forward fold. One, two, inhale, one, two. halfway lift. Exhale, in forward fold. Inhale, mountain, listen for the change. Exhale, just straight to back bend. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. And go ahead and come to your knees. You can grab a drink of water. You can just take a moment for you. If you have a block, make sure to move it up towards your front of your mat on your left side. And let's go ahead and all move back into our downward dog. And let's take a unified breath here. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it all out. <sighs> We're gonna kick it up a notch in our sun B. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up. Exhale, low lunge, bring your right leg through. 
inhale, warrior two, pivot your left foot, windmill and tee out your arms. And take a couple breaths here. We want our right knee to be over our right ankle so they're having a solid foundation. So not too far forward and not too far back. Really finding that alignment there. Yes, a couple more breaths here. Maybe you're starting to feel a little bit of a tingle, a little bit of a burn in your right quad. Yes. That's you getting stronger. <laughs> Deep breath in. And so extended side angle. Right fingertips down towards your mat. Left fingertips up towards the ceiling. You can bring your gaze up. You can bring your gaze right in front, and you can even bring your gaze down. Another modification is like Catania here, using your block. Or you can bring your arms heart center, but no using your right arm as a kickstand, because we're not chilling on the weekend right now. This is still yoga. All right, deep breath in. Exhale, can you sink in a little bit more into your right leg? Yes, right there. Inhale, reverse warrior, right fingertips up, and then back. Couple breaths here. Stay low in your right quad. Awesome work. Good on my right side. Yes. <laughs> Loving this form. Keep your shoulder blades down and back. Really expanding through your chest. Deep breath in. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Pivot your left foot. Reach your fingertips back. Yes. That's a transition, y'all. So if you fall, that's okay. Just get right back up. Couple of breaths here, always option to come down into your left knee. Now inhale, chair. Bring your left foot to meet your right. Bring your tips forward. And we're gonna take a couple of breaths here, working both quads now and our core. Great, now don't forget about your arms. Bring your arms up by your ears. Yeah, so your whole body is activated and engaged. Deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Oh, thank goodness. You're right, <laughs> we're done, you made it. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Let's get into our left side. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two, pivot your right foot. Windmill and teal out your arms. Couple of breaths here. Now get low. Yes. Embrace and welcome you getting stronger in your left quad. Don't be shy. Great, now make sure your fingertips are actively reaching away so that we're getting a little bit of an arm workout too. Deep breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. Feel free to gaze up towards your fingertips, straight in front or down towards your mat. A variation here is like Catania over here and bringing your left palm onto your block. Another option is to bring your arms heart center. Whatever variation you're at, stay active in your core. Try not to sink down into that left hip. Couple more moments here. Find that deep inhale in. And exhale, get a little bit lower. Inhale, reverse warrior, left fingertips up and back. Stay low in your left quad. And a couple moments here. Yes, embrace the little tingle in your left quad. You got this, we're almost there. You did it on one side, you can do it on the other. Deep breath in. Exhale, crescent, airplane arms, pivot through your right foot. Reach your fingertips back. Great, now open through your chest here. Yes, finding one line from the crown of your head all the way back to your right ankle. Now, can you get a little bit lower? Always challenging ourselves here. Yes, our bodies are so much stronger than what we usually give our bodies credit for. <laughs> Inhale, chair pose. Bring your right foot to meet your left. Fingertips up, arms all the way up by your ears, yes. Now bring your pelvis down and back. Great, now can you squeeze your inner thighs together? Yes, right there. Great work, y'all. Inhale in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Great work, y'all. Did you stop breathing? Let's oh, take another unified <laughs> breath here. <laughs> Remember, that's our life force, that's our fuel. We gotta have it. Deep breath in, deep breath out. <sighs> Let's take it as a flow now. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. 
Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog, left side. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. One more time, right and left. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog, left side. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Whew. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take a beat, y'all. I know we're finding the work and work out. We're gonna do that one more time, but we're gonna add some level up variation. So we're gonna keep heating it up. All right, let's get started. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up. Listen for the change. Exhale, flex through your right toes and pulse it up. Up, pulse your right leg up. Yes. Now make sure that your pelvis is parallel towards your mat. More often than not, that's gonna mean bringing your right hip a little bit lower to meet your left. Yes, now keep your right toes facing down towards your mat so that you're engaging your glutes as well. Keep it up for four, three, two, one. Exhale, low lunge. Ooh, events. I yes. know. <laughs> <laughs> Inhale, warrior two. Another level up, pulse it down, down. Exhale, exhale, right there. Great work, y'all. You want your right knee tracking right over your toes. That's gonna help prevent any injuries. Great work. Keep it low and then pulse down from there. Yes. Mm. Keep it up for four, <laughs> three, two, one. Deep breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. Yes. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Listen for the change. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, back bend. A couple breaths here. Oh, it's option to come down onto your left knee. Great, now you wanna keep your heart and your chest shining up and out so that you're radiating from inside out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, chair, airplane arms. Inhale, bring your arms heart center. And let's pulse it out. Oh, no. You knew it was coming. <laughs> pulse. Ooh, it in. Pulse. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Y'all got it. Keep pulsing your pelvis back and down. Knees right over your ankles. Great work. Here for four. Here for three. And yes, it's a slow count. Two. One. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, heels lift up. Inhale, heels down. Exhale, up, down. Exhale, exhale. Yes, working our calves now. Great work, but don't forget about your core. I know for me, sometimes I start to arch my back and it's harder to balance that way. So really engage your core here so you're lifting right up and right down. Ooh, I feel it. I know. Oh, yes. <laughs> you're looking great, Natalie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes. Last few for four, three, two, one. Exhale, forward fold. Let it all go, oh, you yes. did it. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. We did it once, we can do it twice. Yes. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, flex through your left toes and pulse up. Pulse lift, lift. Exhale, exhale. Yes, really incorporating your breath here. That's what's gonna get you through. Great work, now make sure that your left toes are facing down towards your mat so that you're really engaging the backside of your left leg. 
If you start to turn out, you're not gonna target your hamstring and glute as much. Oh yeah, there's my hamstring. Oh, uh -huh, you <laughs> found it. <laughs> Getting into our last few. For four, three, two, one. XO, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. What's coming next? It's a pulse. Oh. Oh. Yes, right there. Staying low and then pulsing from there. I don't wanna see you guys pulsing from here. No, embrace that hard work. You got this. And extend through your fingertips here, taking up space. We're proud of this hard work. You got it. For four, for three, yes, great form, Katanya. One deep breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. In now reverse warrior. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, back bend, a couple of breaths here. Yes, after all that movement, all those pulses, now we're finding stillness. Mm -hmm. What I love about stillness is that it's simple, but it's challenging. You're gonna start to feel the burn in your quad. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, can you get a little bit lower? Now inhale, arms up. Exhale, chair, airplane arms. Inhale, arms center, pulse it out. Yes, this is our last few. We got this, Ooh. we got our calf rises, and then we're done. I almost forgot about the pulse. I know, I know. <laughs> Getting into our last few. For four, for three, for two, for one. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, heels up and lower. Exhale, exhale, yes. Now check in with your breath. If you're like, this is nothing, I need to keep heating up. Find your ujjayi breath. Breathe in and out through your nose. And if you're like, oh my God, I'm heating up. I need to take a moment. Breathe out through your mouth. That's gonna release some heat. Keep it up for four, three, two, one. Exhale, forward fold. You did it. Yes. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, gaze front. Exhale, forward fold, jumper step. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair. Don't worry, it's not more <laughs> pulses. <laughs> Exhale, squat and curl. Walk your hands back into boat pose. Legs out, arms out. Couple breaths here. We're gonna work our core now. All right? Couple breaths here. And then just raise your arms up for two, and down for two. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Two more sets. Last set, stay here. Bring your legs and torso out, and then back in. Bring it out for two, back in for two. Out for two, back in, yes, inhale, Exhale, for four, for three, for two, for one, hold it center. Yes, last few counts, four, four. I know we wanted to be done, but it's not done yet. Two, one, gently roll down, bring your knees in towards your chest. Just rock side to side. Great work, y'all. The work of this workout is done. Ah. <laughs> we're gonna stretch it out and then we're gonna find all of our favorite pose, Savasana, very soon. Find center, gently relax your left leg down and then just squeeze your right knee in towards your chest. And then gently straighten through your right leg, hold on to your right calf. You can point your right toes or flex for a more intense stretch through your right hamstring. And then on your next exhale, bring your right leg closer towards your chest. A couple moments here. Deep breath in. Exhale, bend through your right knee and find a twist. Right knee to the left side, gaze to the right. And a couple moments here. My favorite I stretch. I know. Why is this one your favorite? 
because it makes my back crack sometimes. It right? feels really good. I know, it's like an at-home chiropractor. Yeah. <laughs> and let's go ahead and bring, bend our left knee towards our right with our right hand. Grab onto our right ankle. We're gonna bring our right leg back into a quad stretch. So our right knee is now in line with our hip. And you can adjust as you like to make this more comfortable for yourself. Always option to bring your left knee on top of your right quad just to help release your thigh down towards the floor. And if not, just use gravity. We're gonna take a couple breaths here because we worked our lower body out a lot today. <laughs> so we wanna find a great balance between strength and stretch, which is why I love yoga, because of that balance. And then go ahead and bring your knees back in towards your chest. You can rock right and left as we center yourself. Give your back a little bit of a massage. Hmm. Find stillness and center and bring your right leg down. And bring your left knee in towards your chest. And go ahead and straighten your left leg. You can wrap your fingertips around your left calf. And either keep your left foot pointed or flexed. And on your next exhale, bring your left leg towards your chest for a deep hamstring stretch. Yeah, really start to slow your breath down. We kind of got our heart rate up a little bit. Oh, yes. <laughs> I started sweating. Right? Yes, I saw you glistening. <laughs> and go ahead and bend through your left knee. Deep breath in. Exhale, find your twist, bring your left knee to the right side and your gaze to the left. A couple moments here. Feel free to even close your eyes. Just allow all of your senses to just start to relax. With your left hand, go ahead and grab onto your left ankle, bend through your right knee, and then bring your left knee back so that your left knee is in line with your left hip. Feel free to readjust as needed and just stretch out through your left quad. Always option to bring your right foot on top of your left quad just to help support your left leg going down towards your mat. Couple moments here. And then go ahead and bring both knees in towards your chest. Rock right to left. Find center and a couple rocks up and down your mat. And then find your tabletop and press back into your downward dog. We're gonna set up for pigeon pose, but always option to take a figure four on your back like Catania. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, pigeon pose. Bring your right leg in front, untuck your back toes. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, forward fold. Couple breaths here, if that's too intense in your glute, feel free to stay up a little bit. I think this might be my favorite stretch. <laughs> Amazing. The glutes are hard for me. <laughs> I hold a lot of tension there. I see we hold a lot of emotions in our glutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And inhale, come back up, tuck your back toes, find a three-legged dog, and then lower down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, pigeon pose or switch your legs if you're in that figure four. Untuck your back toes, deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Always option to stay up if it's too intense in your glute. Couple of breaths here. And then inhale, come back up. Tuck your right toes, find your three-legged dog. Exhale, downward dog. Bring your knees down towards your mat. Reach your legs forward. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, seated forward fold. And slowly roll down onto your back to find your savasana. You made it, relax your legs out. Palms up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes and just allow yourself to be, be present, not only in your body, but in your thoughts too, not thinking about the future or the past, 
hopefully not even thinking of all and really finding that meditative state. Feel free to stay here as long as you'd like. And if you need to continue with your day, then just go ahead and roll over to one side and gently pull your body off of your mat and into a seated cross-legged position. Thank you all so much for joining us. I hope you felt a very balanced workout of strength, of stretch, of getting your heart rate up a little bit, and some meditation. How do you feel? Oh, great. <laughs> Relax now. Yay. <laughs> Incredible work, y'all. I hope you're feeling a little bit more joyous, a little bit more inspired, and a little bit more positive. I'm excited to see you next time on Class Fit Sugar.